Hello and welcome back to Maze Let's Plays with the partner. Say hello. Hello. Today we are playing Looney Tunes Martian Collector. And uh, at the minute we are Mott the Baby, a character that apparently you can't remember. Uh, I c yeah. It, you honest, summed that up pretty well. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't think he appeared in many episodes. I probably have seen him, but again, like, I have, like, I'll say I watched most of Looney Tunes, but I'm, I'm, I'm you're, you're wrong. I know yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's like I have watched pretty much, uh, probably all of it because like we got Sky when it like literally first came out, so we had access to like Cartoon Network and like Boomerang when Boomerang came around. Oh, so right, I, yeah. I got a large fill of like weekends just watching Looney Tunes, but I can guarantee that there were just some seasons that we probably never got over here. Well. Uh, Mott the Baby only appeared from my memory in like one episode which is basically this premise here a family they make or they ask the stork for a baby and while the stork was coming to them it got knocked off course by a flying saucer right the flying saucer had uh, the alien stork in it hmm. with Mott the Baby so the aliens got the human baby, and the humans got the alien baby. Right. And I just realised you're playing Splinter Cell. Yeah. Don't. Again, this is again, the worst. This game is just breaking all forms of like future technology. <laughs> this is the worst <laughs> section of this game. Yeah. And with oh Christ, yeah. All right. And with janky controls that. <laughs> aren't playing with me right now this is going to be difficult i've always got to stay out of their eyesight but well that seems really simple the, because obviously this is not exactly splinter cell mm. they can see for miles <laughs> oh that's my phone going off but yeah they can see for too far yeah so i've always got to stay in the shadow and it just doesn't come across... Look, oh, there. She oh. just randomly turned round. Oh, that's bullshit. Bullshit. And that is bullshit. Yeah. She couldn't be able to detect you. Mm-hmm. They ain't got alien tech on this. <laughs> nope. But yeah. This is the most annoying part of the game. This is the part that almost made me put it down as a child. Yeah? Almost put it down as a child. I kind of well, no. I can actually think of plenty of games in which I did that. Yeah. FF10 comes to mind the most. I loved FF10. You know this. Oh look, look there. Oh fuck <laughs> me. Anyway, right. I tell you what. We'll cut out all. No, let's keep talking. Yeah. Let's keep talking. You guys can frustrate us with it as well. What made you turn off FF10 then? Uh, the plane journey. You know when you were going uh, when you head towards the wedding. Yeah. There, there's, there's a wedding with Yuma and the main boss, and you're taking a plane there to like, crash the wedding, and you get into like a fight there on your plane. I can't remember that fight. Well, alright, yeah, so you, yeah, have, yeah. you have a fight on the plane, and that's the point at which I stopped because at that point, the game, like, you know, most Final Fantasy 7 games, uh, sorry, most Final Fantasy games did around that time from like 7 to wherever I didn't play the early ones, yeah. but, but they had this like weird weird sense of like a level creeping in which you just go like you average 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 now you have to grind without us telling you and like huge level increase oh like, christ yeah what the same happened on final fantasy 7 it's just i didn't play it my sister played it so she got to experience that joy i got to experience on final fantasy 10 in which like the level increase just went from like you level 12 because you've been casually playing for it now take on level 25 it's like Oh, you didn't even get to the worst part of it then. No, I, I apparently I barely got into that game. Yeah. And like I, well, I I thought I played it for a while and I was kind of enjoying it. Like I had got Final Fantasy X, the game on holiday when we had gone to Scotland, but we didn't. I didn't have my PlayStation Two with me, so I had the box and the gate and the game guide itself. Ah, for two weeks. Ah, in which I couldn't play. So I just read the. Ma I didn't read the manual because I, I I can't really read that well. But all I wanted it for was to look at like the gorgeous artwork of yeah. Final Fantasy X, 
And that's all I kept doing was I kept looking at that lion guy going like, this guy's going to be the coolest. He's going to be the coolest ever. And I play the game was like, this guy's the lamest. Yeah, he was. He's, he's the lamest. Thank God Orin was cool. Orin was cool. But the <laughs> problem with that game, like I said, you missed the worst level increase cap. I probably did. Which was when you're in the Zanakin ruins to find uh, to get the Aeon and where you discover like the Aeons become sin. Yeah. Uh, Lady Unalesca, I think it is. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but whoever the the woman is that gives you the final Aeon, that fight does not scale. <laughs> because it's the one where basically she casts Doom on everyone and then keeps casting like really cheap shit, you know? Yeah. Oh, we got out of it. We did. Oh, that's cool. I was distracting myself. <laughs> But I yeah, thought, I thought he was like when you got caught last. I thought it would jump you back to like the very beginning of the level, but he'd like yeah, uh, you keep the the progression yeah, you've had. That's the only reason that it's not yeah, can't give you a checkpoint. Yeah, that's nice. There you go. Right mm -hmm. now we can go into the the woods. Again, this game's just like massively surprising me with its Look. just what it's pulling off. What the hell's that? That is a character that. I did. I thought it was a pig, right? But because I know, like, I've read his name in a previous playthrough. It's an owl. Okay. It's a jazz owl. It's a jazz owl. It's a jazz owl. I don't remember there being a jazz owl. It's one of the earlier episodes. Yeah. Where his father is a classical musical man, and his son learns the trumpet. I think it is, or he sings. Yeah. And all his family are, like, really into classical music, and he's the jazz man. Yeah. And um, his father's completely disappointed, disowns him, and then goes on a radio show where, if you're no good, the radio host pulls a lever and, like, drops you down into a trap door. <laughs> he sings so well that everyone starts jiving along with him. Yeah. And his dad accepts his decision to do jazz. I, there you I, go. I, I remember his dad because, like, Looney Tunes used to do educational cartoons. Did they? Uh, uh, did the did the dad owl like wear like glasses, wore like um like a graduation hat, and yeah, yeah that's him. Yeah, like he they they did. I'm pretty sure they did like as a short or something like a like a Fantasia. Like you, you remember the introduction to Fantasia? No, the film scares the bejibers out of me. Uh, you know, you know yeah, this. Yeah, I know, but like the beginning of it is like really like, well, it's quite. It, 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 there's like harmful in the beginning of Fantasia. It's it's the orchestra and the composer teaching you about. Music. Oh right, yeah, teaching you about orchestras. Yeah, and uh, Looney Tunes did the same thing with the owl, in which he would teach you about music through classical instruments. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, because I remember we watched. Uh, when hey, when we were studying for animation, that like they would show us these type of stuff to show us like really like complex animational techniques that they would use in old like old time stuff, like Looney Tunes. Yeah, get me back to the city and I'll sing some jazz. <laughs> but yeah, I never I never saw the I never saw the the the, the jazz owl. I wish it did now. It sounds, it, it sounds awesome. It's one of the like really early episodes. Yeah. I say really early, but like, you know, 1930s when jazz was a thing. Yeah. But yeah. It's not one of the ones that you'd have seen much because it's kind of bad. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Like, I didn't realize that people don't know about Bosco the Clown. Bosco the Clown. Yeah, he's, he's the original mascot for Looney Tunes. Mm -hmm. Or Merry Melodies. Ugh. No, I don't remember Bosco. Bosco the Clown was a blackface clown. Oh, no, no, I didn't hear of him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he actually was in some really, really complex stuff. It ba it was... You Like, they'd taken a... They'd recorded a guy on film, mm. and then Roger Rabbit had him. 
Right. They're live action man and right, right, Bosco yeah. the Clown. Yeah. Like really innovative stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Wasn't that first done with Tom and Jerry? Uh in a in a music uh movie. It was Jerry and he would tap dance with not Fred Astaire, the other guy. Can't remember his name. <laughs> It's really weird. It's really awesome at the time because, like, it's complex as balls, and like, uh, it's it's almost seamlessly done. Like, it's like if you watch like a um, bread um, bed knobs and broomsticks. Yeah. Yeah, like you can see like the like the shifting of the the, the cell film. <laughs> yeah. In some frames, or it's, it's it's like none of that. It's like really smooth. Yeah. But yeah, like because I I'm pretty sure like bread no- um, bed knobs and broomsticks is like the first full-length film to have all that shit in, isn't it? I I, I don't like the film, so... No, I'm pretty sure it is, because cause then, like, I'm pretty sure afterwards um, Mary Poppins came after it. Pretty sure, I don't know. I, I don't know. We should ask know. Angela Lansbury. <laughs> oh, they're making a... Se- they're making a... They're, they're remaking it. What? Um, um, Murder, she wrote? No, Mary Poppins. Oh, thank the, God. Like, Tim Burton, his going to be remaking Mary Poppins. It's going to be bad. I didn't know it's this. It's going to be so bad. I'm not sure if it was a joke because I saw it about a few weeks on um, on uh, Facebook. Oh, it'll be a joke. Randomly. I but the, 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 the poster, yeah. the, if it's a joke, it's a fantastic joke because the poster is 100% legit. Who? who? Uh, they, they've, oh, it's, it's, uh, they've got a really famous uh, British actress doing it. Um, oh god, she was in um, another film with the maid looking after kids. Uh, oh, um, I can't remember her face. Yeah, uh, oh, what's it? Yeah, Nanny McPhee lady. Yeah, man, Nanny McPhee. Yeah, they've got her to play um, Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. And it's like the 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 poster they've got is one hundred percent what you would expect of a post like a modern Hollywood poster to look like especially if it has the title uh, like with um, Tim Burton attached to it it might so, be true then so if it's a joke bravo but that that because like they've got her on the front cover in in costume walking down a very crooked looking um like a uh, uh, London backdrop like uh, yeah. <laughs> like things is like this is a joke tops off but if this is real I may have to cry <laughs> <laughs> once again film I'm not a big fan of I've never seen it it creeps me out I, ne- I never I never saw it as a kid I, I think my parents just didn't want me to see it they let me watch like um <laughs> oh god like um Dust Till Dawn as a kid yeah that always sticks out as, as me and I, I asked my mum not too long ago I was like why did you let me watch like 18 rated films and she's just like replied with well you liked explosions <laughs> so you liked explosions and you would you would shut up when you watched it so <laughs> yeah it was bad enough like I'm, I'm so glad that my friends or like none of my like um like my, my friends parents weren't around when i did this but we had the soundtrack to dust till dawn mm-hmm. right and whenever there's because like most soundtracks i'm not sure if they do it anymore now but like they would put ah i'm getting nibbled on uh they would put like uh sound cues like quotes from the film, uh, from the film in the in the soundtrack. So they had the um, the ah oh, uh, the list of pussies. Yeah, the pussy speech. Yeah, <laughs> they had that, and I knew that for word for word, and I would say it as like it came on on the track, and my mum would just laugh her ass off listening to me. <laughs> like, I love your mum. <laughs> your mum's great. Yeah. She just thought it was the funniest thing ever, and just like. If anybody else was around, they would like slap my, they would slap yeah. me so hard, slap the back of my legs. <laughs> Your mum's great. <laughs> oh, I always had the agreement with my family because I watched load. Of, like I didn't really watch kids' films as a kid. Mm. I watched a lot of eighteens. Yeah, but the agreement we had was: I know this is a movie. This is only here to entertain me. Yeah. If I do this, shit will go wrong. Yeah. And I watched Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry, which was more violent. Oh, yeah. I, there was a film growing up that absolutely shook me to my core as a kid, and it wasn't a 18-rated film. 
It was a, it was a kids film called Willow. And oh, Willow yeah. is one of the most demented things ever put on celluloid. Just for one scene in particular, it's absolutely terrifying. If you've ever seen the film, you'll know what I'm on about. It's a pig transformation scene in which they are about to take on the like the witch. Yeah, I've never seen it, so... And like, there's this huge army, like, ready, like, as much as, like, the 1980s could afford, yeah. right? And, and, and she just goes... Basically, she just goes out onto a platform and just goes, fuck off, does a spell, and turns everyone into, ba- into pork, basically. <laughs> and it's the most horrific transformation scenes I have ever seen. It's up there with, like, werewolf in London... Wow. ...levels of, like, just really messed up pig transformation scene. <laughs> it terrified me as a kid and it still terrified me today. Aww. If I ever saw it. The film is terrible. Probably alright. I haven't seen it in a while but I just remember watching it. It's like this is not a good film. Uh, like I said I've never seen it but I do know it. Because it's uh, that short guy that does stuff with Ricky Gervais now. Yes. Yes, it was uh, pretty much his... Warwick Davis. Yeah, it was his like biggest role he had at the, well, at the time, and for a long while. I thought he was an Ewok. Yeah, he was. Yeah. But like when you get like a, like he was like more or less the selling point of that film. He was, oh, on, he was on the poster, he was like, his name was like, he was the main character overall. Yeah. E- even though they did give the secondary character the love interest, because he was a person. Well, he was a, he was a human. And Whoa! Like, like, that's, that's a bit. That's a bitch. That's a. That's a bit mean. It's like here's the main character, but he doesn't get the girl because we can't give a midget a girl. It's like, oh, Walt Davis deserved it. He saved everyone. He was the only one not to get transformed into a pig. Was that because he was so short? He mi- the spell missed him. No, because he could do magic. All right. He like he went. Oh, I gotta change this and like, Alakazam, motherfuckers. <laughs> I like, saved everybody. Here's the main reason that they won. Never seen the film. Yeah. And by the sounds of it, good job I didn't. No, it's it's horrifying. I can't remember how I get across there. Oh yeah, here's the here's the <laughs> other secret character. <clears throat> He's not secret, but like, how do I get to him? Once again, go through the wall. <laughs> That's all it is. Thing is, like, this isn't some exploit. This is how you're meant to get the characters. And we had to have the little ghost for him to join us. Oh, he wouldn't have joined you if he didn't have the little ghost. I'm pretty sure, because he mentions the little ghost. Oh, that's cool. But, once again, I could be wrong, but... Because I've always got the little ghost. Yeah. I've always worked it out. I'm I'm clever. (laughs) I'm clever, YouTube. I worked it out myself. I just imagine that as as you being a kid that blowing your mind finding like the the hidden passways. <laughs> yeah, probably I can't remember. Because right. I, I I never played games like this like with hidden passways as, as that I can remember. But I remember watching my mum again play play <laughs> playing Wolfenstein. Oh yeah, and she loved Wolfenstein. Like she had like grid based maps. <laughs> drawn up of of the game <laughs> yeah. and she would just go through it and she'd be finding all the treasures she knew where all the hidden passageways pa- passageways was and like whenever she knew, found a new one it's like woo something new <laughs> <laughs> it's like well, my my playing history has been like very straightforward games yeah i know i never played like the ones with like hidden hidden rooms or anything like that actually no that's a lie cuz i played crash bandicoot and that has a ton of hidden crap in it yeah, it does. Yeah. Alright, I think, because I'm slightly lost now. <laughs> now, this is the point, like I said. I, honestly, I know I've said this twice already, but this is where I got to on my personal play. So, I'm a little bit lost. I've got to look for the flying saucer. I found it, but I can never remember which island I'm meant to go to. I f- oh, that's a cool animation. All of it is. There's a lot of really good frames in this. A lot of really good frames. Like I said, to say that this is granted like a... It is backed by Warner Brothers and it is their big opus magnum for Looney Tunes. It's kind of not big at the same time. Right. They put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, it it shows. It's a... 
it reminds me a lot of um, you know the uh, Aladdin game. Yes. For the Nintendo and for the Sega. And for PC. Oh, for PC. Well, I know, I know the two versions. Yeah. Because the the it's like everyone loves the Nintendo version and no one likes the Sega version. Really? Why? I think that was it. Anyway. Uh, I can't remember, but there's one that has a sword, and that's the cool one, and the one that doesn't have a sword is the bad one. Alright. I believe that's... But the reason why one is so much better than the other mm-hmm. is because Disney actually ba- uh, actually did all their animation for them. Alright. I- so there's like one that looks seamlessly like like the show, like yeah. the film, and it has all this amazing animation in it. It's like, how did you get? How did you get it to look that good? Disney did it. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's it, it like seeing Oops. this and seeing like the level of like like animation that they're throwing at it. Like it sounds like something like um like Warner Brothers had a hand to doing most of like like the keyframes or you know all yeah. that stuff. I w- I wouldn't be surprised. I can't remember who actually produced it. Can you read it off the the game cartridge? Yeah, sure, I'll try. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember where the hell to go. <laughs> it doesn't actually. Wait there. Um, it's Telltale, but it could it, just because I've heard it recently. Infogram. Info. Info games. Yeah, yeah, yeah it wouldn't be Telltale because Telltale doesn't didn't exist at this time. Yeah, I know. I I just remember it being one of those games. Co- it said it on the intro screen. <laughs> but yeah. Right, so that's everywhere. We've investigated everything with the, the boat, pretty much. I think there's a few tiles we've missed, but I cannot remember where to go. So, I think this might be time to end this episode as, until I discover where to go, <laughs> because this game has not told me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, is no, that something this, new? No, this is the first city. Yeah, this is the first city. Don't we have to give back? Have we give back the owl yet? Yeah, the owl went back to town. All oh, right. He didn't sing us any jazz. Aww. I know. <laughs> Lying bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he could have put on a mini track. Probably did. The music in this game. I realised that I was talking about the music in this game. <laughs> you guys, I don't think can hear it. Just to save, like, they, and make it a bit easier. They'll hear it. We don't. No, they might. I don't know if they do. All right. Uh, but anyway, guys. Right, I think this is time to end it. And like I said, we'll join back in when we know where we go. So say goodbye.